Help that poor fella out. All right, you big load. Fuck up, Whisper. You keep doing you. <laughs> Spoken in the words only a man in true tears can understand. Man, you're right, we crushed this guy. Hey, do you think you can help me catch a frog? <laughs> Whisper is too sad to run. No, don't look at me. No, don't look. Okay, now you can look. I just have to ask. No questions, please. I don't know if you would hear my answers over these tears. <laughs> <laughs> you could have lost. Whisper is but a fool. Everyone thinks Whisper is a loser. Even Whisper's mother. She told me so after the race. Dear gosh. You know what this this guy reminds me of? Like a Dark Souls character. Yeah. Hey, do you think you can help me catch a frog? I need a frog. Whisper is too sad to run. No, don't look at me. No, don't look. Okay. No. He does fit the mold of the tragic Dark Souls knight. You keep doing you. <laughs> but I, 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 <sighs> Jeez. Maybe he wants a strudel. Whisper shouldn't hide his tears in food. Show him his picture, maybe that'll work. <laughs> this is the man I remember. An, an, an autograph, you say? You're still Whisper's fan? You want to immortalize me on your nightstand? Well, I'm not one to disappoint the fans. <laughs> Here you are. To my fan. Graham, right? Always seek adventure. <laughs> Find Whisper. Thanks, friend. I needed that. All right. Hi there. Now guy. give me that damn frog. Hey, uh, Whisper. Do you think you can help me catch a frog? Whisper can do it. These evil dragon hoppers are no match for Whisper. Anything for a fair end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the back to the potions. You know, all these guys are not bad. Well, they're knights for a reason. You know, you can't you can't say these guys aren't excellent at something. And then, for the most part, they've all sure any any sports sporting competition kind of has that edge to it. But they're yeah, they're good good people. Graham is actually the real asshole in all this. He's tricking people. Oh, you look like you need a hug. <laughs> Who said that? The baker. Better go get your hug. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a hug. Wendy. I'm famished. I'm in need. Oh, how I love this day. I said something about a hug. Bye for now. Have a crepe day. Ugh. Oh, you need a hug. Mmm, <laughs> that smells delicious. All right. Yes, boy. Whoops. Fairly well. I forgot. Always look on the smart side of life. Well. Yes, yes, yes! Give it here, boy. He just bites into it. Oh, that did the trick. Splendid. 
Our teeth whitening potion is complete thanks to you. Yep, and the promise is a promise. Here is your sample, boy. <laughs> Got everything that needs a color changing, you know, or something that needs to stand out from the rest? Use it wisely, dear. There's only one dose in there. That was a bit of a ghost potion, too. My fingers were clipping through the hell of that. Alright, so we have to go back to the tournament theater. Um, this way. It's time to do Vizzini. A man built for the competition of wits. Get going, Gramp. You okay? Yep. Hope it's not allergies. Well, you haven't had allergies in a long time. No, no, I'm getting them. You're getting them? Yeah. I remember when those were vicious for you. Well, it seems to happen only every few years. I mean, I've, I've had allergies before. I used to be deathly allergic to cats. I remember that time we had that pet cat, Ozzy. Yeah. We had him for like nine days before you had to give the cat up. I was a mess for those nine days, too. And you were sad and heartbroken. Whoops. And lost. Well, I, I always kind of wanted pets as kids. And, uh... You were weak. I did. It, it never. It never came about that uh, we were in a situation where I could have pets, really. Except ferrets. Ferrets, and those those were cool to have. They really were. But they, is they, that up? I should go. No. Nope. I went up, didn't I? But yeah, ferrets were probably the coolest little animals to have. And that goes to the troll bridge. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Well, ask the guard there. Yeah, where's the battle of wits? Questions. Where is the championship duel? The championship duel of wits will be held at the theater. I believe Manny is waiting for you there. Bye. I meant more Cheerio. exactly where is it? I think it's this way. And I think it's this way. Circle! No, this way. No. No, that's back to... We did a giant circle, didn't we? And I think this comes out into a dead end. So... Ugh. Ah! <laughs> this happens to him a lot. You could say the squirrels and Daventry are a bit nuts. <sighs> okay. Give him the strudel, maybe uh oh, <laughs> You went down the wrong street, Graham. I hope you find this to your liking, Princess Madeline of Avalon. Whoa, I thought that was a flying carpet for a second. The tension between the Bridge Troll Guild and the Royal Guards is at an all-time high, and we need to come to an agreement soon. Your bridges need to stop stonewalling us. I have no time to listen to additional opinions. We need these bridges to get back to work. We need you to watch your step when crossing our backs. Give more respect to the giant whose shoulders you're stomping on. Well, we need you to stop complaining and get back to work. We are sick of getting walked all over. You're just looking at the problem from your perspective. We all have to work together. The problem is there are no bridges. You're a bridge <laughs> and you're not doing your job. Oh, jeez. We've been doing our job for generations. 
You've worn us down, and we need you to think about a softer touch. Your agreement with Daventry clearly states you are to provide bridge services at the designated locations. And it's all for me. Nice. Oh, they feel as though I am walking on clouds, and the craftsmanship stunning. Can you order one pair for each of the Royal Guards? Mm, well, it does look soft and cuddly, but that's not accounted for in your mandate. I could create an addendum for that. We could still sharpen our boots and march as we wish, but these socks would protect you. Oh, jeez, that would just be the best. A real compromise that we could all live with. I think that's exactly what you should do. Thanks, Graham. The Guild will never forget this. See you at the next meeting. The new socks soften the guards' souls. <laughs> it was definitely a step in the right direction. All right. And little did they know I would never attend a guild meeting ever again. The asses. Defeat. Whoa, showdown. Oh, look at that. That's just too perfect. Welcome, friend, to the championship duel of wits. Well, the take-home version. Budget cuts or something. But, uh, look around, take it all in, and know we've already won. Our allegiance guarantees us both the spot on King Edward's board. How exactly is this going to work? <laughs> Before we get to the rules, I offer a toast and an opportunity. You see, while this game might stretch the imagination, for some I find it rather simple and in need of an additional mental challenge. Guards, the raisin juice, please. <laughs> this is my favorite game. Well, it's been a long time since I last played it. Are you familiar with hypnotic powder? One sip of this, and you'll have to do everything I say. And, of course, vice versa. In goes the powder. Guard number two, if you would. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Man, he just poured it on his face. Whoa! Looks like you got the winner. And now we play. So, the goal of the duel of wits is to hit your opponent's pawn with an arrow by moving these pieces around the board. Your pawn will fire an arrow after you move. I'll go first. After I move the shield, watch how the arrow bounces off the shields and around the board. Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Takes it in his own gut. <laughs> yeah. But as an additional rule, you can't move a shield your opponent moved on his previous turn. Will you please move the lower left shield to your left? I'm so happy we'll be working in the castle together, Graham. And if I ever become king, you'll make an excellent oh. advisor. I'll move this shield, and we'll all have to accept it's what's on the inside that counts. Addendum. <laughs> you can move and rotate your pawn to change the direction you shoot. Will you please rotate your pawn clockwise? Your arrow will always fire in the direction you're facing. I do hope you realize all the planning I did to get us here. I'll just rotate this shield. Like this game looks, looks pretty well. interesting, actually. You want. Not that it matters. Okay. Now let's see. Boom. If you rotate this guy... Wait, no, you can't rotate them, right? 
You can only rotate yourself. I can, I can only rotate myself, or I can move a pawn. Or I can I can move a shield guy, but I can only rotate my dude. Um, I'm going to... No, he's got me no matter what, because I'm going to move this fella over here to get away from a straight run. Then he moves... No, actually, actually, that's a safe move. Huh. Looks like my intelligence has reigned supreme. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you could move your pawn. You didn't tell me the rules, Manny. I've won. Please review the winning board. We have to do something. Graham is about to lose. Best two out of three. Seriously? You all know I won. Apologies, sir, but Decree 3214 specifically states that all dual victories must be witnessed and verbally notarized by a royal guard such that it can be recorded for posterity in our tournament record. Unfortunately, the board was compromised before a final notary could be given. Therefore, this victory is nullified, and another game must be played. We really are sorry, and are sure you will be able to achieve victory once again. You are the most ridiculous guard <laughs> I've ever encountered. No matter. Merely a delay in my ascent to knighthood. I'm ready to beat you again whenever you're ready. I know what to do. The goblets were placed behind Manny. How could I outsmart his little game? The color changing potions. Alright. <laughs> and the fruit picker, something we've never used. I'd, I'd assume just because of. Back so soon, raisin juice. <laughs> this all seems so familiar. Hypnotic powder. So drink the white Mix one. Some up. And now you choose. Hmm. I'll take this one. Now it's a straight game. Excellent choice! And that was the last of my hypnotic powder. And now, we play. What? Oh, it's your move. Yeah. I'm going to force him to make several moves. All right. Kind of crowd him in. I wish I had other powders to make this game more interesting. I've seen enough magic powders for one day. He just shoots you. <laughs> Can you believe what that brute was hiding in his belly? What a disappointment. I actually liked his art. Hmm. I'm not proud of embarrassing him. <laughs> Graham, that dope will never accept us. He should keep to the knitting. Okay. Now I move this one 
Ab. Oh, he, he's right. I lost. Jeez. How does uh, royal assistant to the king sound, Graham? A victory again! Notary, please! <laughs> they're just gonna... They're rigging the games! Unbelievable. Are you sure you're ready to play again? Yes. I'm not afraid. Let's begin. This is getting absurd. How many times do I have to beat you? Looks like you're going to have to go for a win and not play for a stalemate. Yep. This for now, eh? <laughs> Finally got a taste of his own medicine. He's not that bad once you get to know him. Are you getting soft on me, Grant? Do you have any other secret alliances I should know about? Yo, mama. Oh, he won! Yeah. Damn it! Nasty creatures, really. Ugh. But uh, how do you figure? Be careful around them. He turns the he turns this them. one and shoots me. Wow! He had a win there. Man, this is a this is a strange game. I I could see actually playing this. So this is kind of neat. Yeah. Shame about it, Chaka. Though I can't focus on this game. I keep thinking about him. Well, once we're in the castle, we can make sure his people, the Hitchthrians, get the surplus they need. It's the least we can do. Move up in case he wants to make that aggressive maneuver. And then turn. Did you visit that magic shop in town? I did. Hobblepots have minds of their own. Yes, well. I just wish they'd get serious. He won. About no, the he didn't. Of their wares. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to turn my guy to the right. You go there. Okay. Maybe if you if you move this guy here, shoot that guy. That's just my uh, idea. So rotate this guy. You said right? <coughs> no, just move him to the left. If I move him to the left, um, he shoots me that turn by turning him. Oh, okay. Um, so I can move him down. Wait. Let's get this over with. It's the duel of wits, not the duel of ponder forever about your next move. Why don't you just move Graham up one space and still facing that way. And if the computer is dumb enough 
to leave. We just move that knight out of the way. And then fire. Because no matter what, he has to move him this turn. Did you think I wouldn't notice that? Oh, oh Vizini. You win. So much for the great... <laughs> you beat me twice. I did it! I did it! Guards, I am ready for decree 3, 2, 1, 4, point six and a half. Actually, I think it was decree 1.21. <laughs> we knew you could do it. You're out of the alliance. I can't <laughs> to you. How about another challenge? We only got to square off in a duel of wits. A well-rounded gentleman would win in a duel of strength as well. Graham, take this. Um, here. We've got to go with the sword. Or the knife. Ooh. Ooh. High stakes combat. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, dead. He comes up and he has just a a mace where his head used to be. <laughs> okay, one more challenge. Uh, how would you fare in a duel of speed? No, Manny, it's over. Just as the battle isn't always claimed by the strong, and the race isn't always won by the swift, sometimes the intelligent falter. And I think now is my chance. And now is my time. Come on, Graham. One more duel for a chaka. Do it for the village of starving pitch threeans. Oh, you said his village was home to the itch twins. What exactly is your plan here? Because I'm sorry. Duel of speed. <laughs> duel of speed. Well, oh, Graham, but he's not worth it. No, he's worth it. With the bridge strike resolved, supplies can be delivered to the shops again. Business started to pick up. The Wetzel Wolves stopped harassing the town and migrated north. Even the guards marched with them, or caution in their steps. And even though I didn't get a Wetzel patch, all things considered, it was a pretty good first day in Daventry. That was... that was amazing. I mean, you faced a dragon, you made weird new friends, you battled for wits. I... I just don't get it. Get what? With your busy schedule, how did you ever find time for a night job? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make your first pun? I think I did. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Disgusted. So fast. The tournament! It's about to start! Well, you'd best get out there, young lady. Good luck. And remember what I told you. Take on the duel with deafness. I thought you said be quick with it in the duel. I did. Remembering my past made me think about some of my roots I'd forgotten. Sometimes it's better to do as I do, not as I say. Thanks, Grandpa. I will. Are you going to watch? Of course, of course. <clears throat> I'll be down momentarily. Oh, goodness. Horse Dovers. Hope you practiced with them. No. Just listen to stories. You learned 
all that from Grandpa's stores. It was a fantastically fire tale. Oh! Perhaps his ridiculous ramblings have a point. Children! Children! Come along, quickly! It's your grandfather! Well, that ain't no good. Oh, man. I don't know what to think about that. That was, uh... Kind of started off promising. Yeah. Ending on a cliffhanger for chapter one. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, okay. But, uh... A lot of running around. We kind of got hung up there in the middle. Yeah. I mean, the game is good once it's going... It, it needs to keep going, though. That's, uh... Well, I, I partially blame us. Yeah. Because we would go, like, a week without touching it, and we'd forget a lot. Yeah, so... You'll notice uh, every now and then there's an episode where we're just bumbling around and running running about and finding stuff out again, seemingly for the first time. And, uh... Yeah, that, that kind of hung us up, but once, once we sat down and actually hammered it out... The end, we were moving along pretty good with a little help from all of the the people on the internet, um, but not not a bad attempt. It, does it hold up to the King's Quest legacy? Sort of, probably, most likely. Actually, the we the only one we ever had experience with was King's Quest Five, right? And we didn't beat that. <coughs> no, we actually got hamstrung pretty early in a problem with a snake on a path. Yeah. And so... Oh, production babies. Um, so there there were always games like this that we, we entertain and play, but that always get stuck at and then just give up on. I think this is probably the first one where we just kind of powered through it. And you know, there's some good cute moments, some some funny little little parts, but uh, I don't know. I think, I think uh, we're going to have to give it a little bit of a break. Give it a... A little bit of time before we move on to the second chapter. Yeah. And now they have like four, four of the five chapters out. So we'll see where it all, where it all heads from here. Hopefully, uh, maybe with the second episode, they figured out a lot of the problems and criticisms and address them. You never know. Yep. Yeah. So from us, it was uh, interesting to play, and we hope you come back for more video game madness from the Sentinels of the Solar System. Good night. Oh.